G'day and welcome back. So we're out here with the Morris Miner again. Uh, today we're going to be cutting out a lot of rusty panels. Um, now it's about zero degrees outside and it's about zero degrees inside too. Uh, so a wee bit chilly but that's fine. We'll warm it up with some grinding and some whatever else and um, go from there. So I'll show you what we're going to cut out. I'll show you some of the tools and then we'll get into it. All right, so most of our rust is in these kind of outer steps and the boxing plate and this sealed part of the of the setup. Um, so we need to get down to to that. So to do that, um, we've got this jacking point that needs to come off. Uh, I also reckon we need to take this B pillar out. It's only held in by by not much to be fair. Uh, so we'll get that out of the way because otherwise it's going to be a bit of a nightmare to get all this stuff out of the way. Um, then we'll just peel back the layers like an onion and uh, see what we've got. Uh, but there's quite a few spot welds and bits. Uh, some kind of other tack welds and bits and pieces and yeah so we'll peel it apart um, hopefully keep these panels reasonably intact so makes it easier to get replacements because then we can compare and um, go from there. Right, so this should be pretty much all the tools we're going to need today. Uh, because we're taking out the B pillar, we need to measure and make sure we can put it back in the right place. We've got a tape measure, a couple of different hammers. I uh, finally got around to getting a ball peen hammer. Um, a bit easier on the arm than the big <laughs> lump hammer. Um, and it's only thin metal, so we don't need a lot of whack. Uh, got a box of drill bits. Uh, lots of them, because guarantee I'll break a few, or they'll go blunt or whatever. There's lots of spot wells to deal to center punch to make it nice and easy to drill um, set of punches and chisels uh, we've got a wee drill for drilling and we've got our little angle grinder with a grinding disc on and we've got big brother the big cord um, brushless one with the um, cutting disc on uh, also got an angle air drop air die grinder just in case for any kind of cleaning up or whatever else we need to do uh, but yeah that should be all we need um, all these power tools all use the same battery system the tool pro skins whatever they call them uh, so yeah that should be all we need so i'll get measuring and um and we'll get cutting so that's all marked up quality work there uh, we've got measurements in as many places as we could get i've also marked where this post comes from um, plus we've still got the other side for reference so should go back in the right place um, it shouldn't be too hard to get it back in the right place um, but yeah let's cut it out well so this panel's attached on the vertical and these horizontal parts so we'll see if we can cut through those welds and chisel it off
This pillar is also um, welded in from the back, uh, so I'm just going to grind the paint off so we can see the weld and then we can uh, cut it off. So I'll just put the old wacky wheel on there and we'll uh, deal to it. Alright, so we cut through that big weld at the top there. There's a couple of little welds on the back we've done. Also seems to be a couple of spot welds in there. So uh, we'll drill those and that should, should start to give.
tops loose. something up there there we go B pillar out I've done a pretty good job of preserving all of our surfaces looks like we should be able to get that one back in nice and easily so quite happy with that you can see we turn it into a a one door Right, so our next panel should be this outer step, uh, but that's held on with a load of spot welds underneath and it's connected to another panel that's coming off anyway. Uh, so for now we're just going to leave that there, and chop the ends off, and we'll get this boxing panel out of the way, then we can take both these panels out. So, for this boxing panel we've got lots and lots of spot welds, and a bit of a weld up either end. Uh, so yeah, I'll um, get into that. I'm not going to show you every single spot weld being cut out unless we do some weird time up something but uh, let the camera roll, we'll drill it out, you'll see the highlights and yeah, but we got there's about 10, 15 there 30, 40, something like that lots of spot welds uh, so yeah, we'll uh, send a bunch of them all and we'll drill them all and we'll live happily ever after Just need to clean this up behind the A pillar there. Uh, what do we got? up here remember oh don't never forget your safety gear always forget never forget
Right, so we've drilled all of those, quite a few of them. Um, you have to drill them as, until you can kind of see the you've got through the, the whole of this front layer. Uh, but they're all, not all perfectly centered, so we still need to chisel and do bits and pieces, but um, that should be good enough for, to help get that separated. And um, I'll crack on and do that. Right, so it's not coming apart too easily if I'm trying to kind of peel it apart layer by layer. Um, you can't get the drill at the right angle to drill out these spot welds under there and it can't quite get down between there to, to separate these two layers. Um, so, this boxing plate, we're loose at the top and we're fairly rusty along the bottom for this first part. There's a bit more solid towards the end. Uh, so I'm just contemplating just cutting this plate along the length and then we can kind of take off this bit of um, the bit that remains, what's left of it. Uh, yeah, most of it is rust. Uh, but that might be the way forward. Then at least you can get in and kind of hopefully probably end up cutting the, the spot welds out with the angle grinder, cut and disc, uh, straight down the middle there, but yeah, that's probably going to be the way forward. I don't think there's any downside to that, but it's not going to come off as one nice clean panel, but that's no big deal because we'll get, get a new panel anyway, uh, but yeah, it's just, um, there could be a better way to do it, but I can't think of one right here right now, so yeah, I'll cut that along there. Then we can get this panel out, then we can have a look and um, see how we'll get this, this apart here. So uh, let's get cutting. that off not as neat as I wanted but it's off uh, so what that kind of highlights is that we're gonna have to take some of these other panels off to actually rebuild this but uh, in terms of just stripping it down right now we can carry on like this so we just got this remnants of that boxing panel that we'll um, endeavor to chop out
Right, there's that panel. Not quite as neat as I was hoping, but it is off. That shows we do have a fair bit more. Got a few holes in this kind of part of the, um, especially the floor pan that bit, so hopefully we'll either get a repair section or fix it up somehow. Uh, so that's as far as I wanted to get to in this video. Oh, we've cut out this step, this boxing plate, uh, kind of the outer sill portion. Um, this panel that's got all the holes in, that's part of the floor pan, so we just need to figure out how we're going to repair that. Uh, looks like we'll probably have to either maybe take some of these extra kind of body panels off so we can do the um, chassis work and then build it back up. But um, yeah, now we've kind of got a little bit into it, we can start to plan the next step really. Uh, so, didn't quite come off as neatly as I planned, but, oh well, um, it's off, it's not too shabby. Uh, the bits that are damaged, well not damaged, that are hacked about, courtesy of me, uh, they're going to get repaired anyway. I was just trying to keep it all kind of as neat as I could to make as little work for me as possible. Um, but yeah, uh, only, man only had to change one battery out of all the tools we've used, so they're lasting pretty well for this kind of cutting, cutting, grinding, drilling. Um, so yeah, a couple of hours work. Could have done it quicker if you're more of a hack. Um, but yeah, we're getting there. So uh, yeah, I'll sit here with a cup of coffee or tea and I'll figure out what I need to do next and obviously you're welcome to comment down below what I'm going to do next or what I need to do next uh, but I feel like I these probably need to come off so we can kind of repair those corners under there and uh, same up here might need to do something up with these whatever bits you call those flitch whatever pillars um, they'll probably have to come off or be moved uh, so we can repair the bits underneath but yeah there we go comment like subscribe and we'll see you for whatever happens next cheers